take a deep breath. Oh, I said deep, not last. <laughs> Friends, he's got an all-star lineup. Today. 
tonight. Ooh, who is it? We got Johnny Cash, Aretha Franklin. Oh, respect. <laughs> Elvis Presley. Oh, they stole my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly Parton, oh, she's the one that's got the big hands. She's got big hands. Uh, Minnie Pearl and I'll leave you a note in the John. Give me that. That says Olivia Newton John. <laughs> You need to go see Doc Curtis at Inside Eye Care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a couple hours before the show starts, and I'm feeling kind of restless. Well, what do you want to do? Mm. Oh, I know. Let's get in the car and drive up the lover's lane. Ah, uh, there's no full moon tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's true. It'd be too dark to watch anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, why don't we just head on upstairs? Oh, yeah? And then what? <laughs> Let's see if you survive that first. <laughs> <laughs>
My poor family. Well, what's disturbing you, Joyce? Is, is it because your brother is going to prison again? No. Is it because your sister's sadistic husband has moved back into the house? No. Is this about your father's brain surgery? No, Marion, this is serious. <laughs> Thank you. 
All I need are a thousand signatures to get on the ballot in November. I'll sign. What? Thank you, lovely lady. Now, are you sure you're old enough to vote? <laughs> no, personally, I do not need a phone number. I just need a signature. <laughs> Thank you, lovely lady. Sir? <laughs> Well, he won't be getting any more signatures on this book. Why not? I stole his pen. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants it back. Why, it's a young girl with a problem. <laughs> Mother, don't you recognize me? Daughter!
wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> now turn your attentions to the beautiful mini bird. <laughs> Uh, God, that's awful. 
You're gonna need to say, Doctor, ah, you have to take him over to Doc Rowley's house. Ain't that kind of risky? Nah, nah, you know we don't, you know we don't make house calls. Ah! What do you want, pain or something? No! I, yes. I'm just afraid. I never dance again. Sit down, sit down. Shh. Keep down, keep down. Hey, boss. What? Somebody at the door. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I think they're going away. Nah, nah. Good afternoon, sir. I'm not supporting noise for the fireside girls. And I've been given this neighborhood to collect money for our annual fireside dinner. Sorry, kid. We're not interested. But it's called the Guadalajara night. And we're going to be serving enchiladas, tamales, and a roast called pollo. Feed it, kid. Come on. Take it down and make it in, sir. Yeah, sorry, not. We're not interested. Come on. Uno momento, senorita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gracias, sir. De nada. All right, just sold your ticket. Are you happy? Come on. Oh, but sir, there are four of you, and by the time you divide up one enchilada. All right, all right, I tell you. If I buy three more tickets, will you beat it? Oh, certainly, sir. All right, all right, hang on. I'm Forgot to tell you that we're having Mexican music at our fiesta, and some of us fireside girls have put together a mariachi band, and we're going to be strolling amongst the tables. Hey, that sounds like a lot of fun, boss. <laughs> okay, why don't you stroll on out of here? Come on. <laughs> ah! A person in distress. What kind of fireside girl would I be if I didn't offer assistance? We already got a doctor coming. Oh, is this his black bag? Uh, yeah, ooh. that's his idiot. Yeah, yeah. He's got some practice. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Ah, Eddie, why don't you two take off? I'm going to have a conversation with Miss... Uh... Portnoy, Alice Portnoy, trip 66. All right, Alice, <laughs> you seem like a lovely little girl. How many tickets in a book? Ten, sir. All right. If I give you five, will you actually beat it this time? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. All right, all right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. I, I was thinking. What now? I was thinking that perhaps the doctor might have some friends that would like to participate in our annual fiesta. Uh, wait. What doctor? Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. Here. You ever seen one of these? Oh, a scene! Yeah. Oh. All, right. All right, well, if you take it, you go. Come it's, on. It's so crisp and new, just like it came from a bank. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention, sir, that all proceeds for our annual dinner are going to help underprivileged fireside girls go to winter camp. And you know, it takes an awful lot of money to buy toboggan skis and ice skates. No, no, no. You're not getting any more money out of me. This, this is a robbery. It is? Oh, let me put on my best. <laughs> I'm telling you what, you're not getting another nickel out of me. That's probably okay, sir, you know. But what I have here, and you know, that great big reward I'll get from the bank. All right, I see what's happening. We're gonna have to knock her off. She knows too much. She can identify us. Well, it's your fault. She let me put on my mask. <laughs> all right, all right, tell you what. We're gonna divide up the money. We'll take care of her, and we'll go our separate ways, right? Right. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Dummy, but this guy isn't gonna share anything with you. He's not. He's not. Don't listen to her. He says that he's gonna divide the money up with you. But the minute he gets you alone, bang, bang! <laughs> don't do that. No, no, no. It's not going to work this time. Come on. If you don't believe me, just ask James Cagney. Oh, is he here too? <laughs> it's not going to work. We've been partners for too long. We trust each other, right? Right. Like Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. 
Let's get some rope with Tyra. Look, can we go find it? You go over look over there. I get some over here. Come on, let's go. No, no, don't shoot it. Hey, Tyra. <laughs> I wonder how big this reward is going to be. <laughs>
My name is Barry Stevens. My advertising agency is doing a commercial for Old Drunk Coffee. And since you two like it so much, how's about being in it? I don't know, Mildred. Who do you think? You may be a phony. Are you one of those guys that goes around looking for gorgeous, beautiful women? To <laughs> be in a commercial by promising them that they'll be stars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I want to show you something. I'll go over there. Uh, next to that jelly donut display. Uh, you see the camera? Hey, punch up three! Will you, Charlie? Oh, there it is. Now, where did you see it? Wow. I'll be. Well, I guess it's on the level. Wow. How did you come to pick us, though? We overheard everything you two said about Old Drum Coffee. You see, this table is bumped! <laughs> what? what? That's right. You see, this, pit, this pot of fake flowers, it's not really fake flowers, it's a microphone. See the little cord right here? Yeah, I stand Yeah. So how's about the ladies? Will you do the commercial for me? Well, sure. Can't you just see me on TV? <laughs> Here's Phil. He's at home. He's flipping through the channels. There he's at his favorite program. Here I am! <laughs> Can you get this on Sesame Street? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll try. Okay. Now, Joe, get started. What would you like me to say? Us, Mildred. What would you like us to say? Just what you said before. It was very natural. I believe you I said... said my, this coffee tastes delicious. And then I said, yes, it sure and does. And then I said, I wanted to pick some up for my husband. And I said, I would pick it up on the way home. And then I said, well, what did I say? I yes, don't know. yes, ladies, that's, it's just fine. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll try that much. You say one line, and then you say one line. Remember, just be natural. Just be yourselves, OK? All right, let's get started. Okay. Old Trump coffee commercial. Take one. Now, forget there's 80 million people watching you. Action. Yes. 
question. If you would just let me say the first line, maybe that would give my friend some confidence when she hears it done correctly. <laughs> Mildred, I have known you for 10 years, and nobody has mistaken you for Ben Davis. Ben Davis, Ben Davis. No, but I have had my theatrical experience. In the back row of the balcony. No, no, no. <laughs> with our church group. Yes. Yeah, but what the minister didn't tell you? 50% of those are now atheists. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was her. Look, ladies. <laughs> I'm running out of film. So this time, you take the first line, That's right? very wise. Yep. Let's do it again. <laughs> Old Drum Coffee commercial, take four. Action! Maybe I can help. I 
I am your wife. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it's no use, Ruthie. It's no use. Lady. 
ladies and gentlemen, show some respect. <coughs> Sorry, misery weather. <laughs> show some respect for the Queen of Souls, Aretha Franklin. Come on,
Mabel, how's about a little service? Huh? I'll get with you in a minute, Rocky, okay? Keep your shirt on. <laughs> Excuse me, miss? Uh, can I please get a table for two? You got a reservation? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I just came back. Said anywhere. Thank you so much. Well, I'll be today, Rocky. What you got that's good? <laughs> Everything I got is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about the food.
three hours, four hours if there's traffic. Seriously, a motel is not a bad No thing. motel, George. <sighs> you too. You are two of a kind. Are you talking about him? Yes. Your friend over there, the one with the big mouth and the big eyes been oogling at me ever since we came in. <laughs> He's not paying any attention to us, Mom. Oh, not to us, George. To me. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, George, you're so naive. He may have a cheeseburger in one hand. He's devouring me with his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that enough? Hey, mister! You! What are you gawking at? Are you talking to me, lady? Yes, I am. Mom, I'll hear this, okay? Please, please sit down, Mom. I'll handle this. Hey, man! Hey. I'm an eccentric millionaire, and I would love to pay for your dinner. Sure, if you want to. Oh, yeah! That's what I want, man! And that's the way it's gonna be! A guy like you that works so hard, he should have a little more to eat in his belly, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, you think so, huh? Oh, yeah, I think so, man! If you want to stay healthy, man, that's what you're gonna do tonight! You're gonna have a ribeye, you're gonna get yourself some cheers, you're gonna go crazy. Hold up this <laughs> Junk away from me and bring me a sirloin steak and a bottle of beer. Oh, that's what I get for sending you to do a man's job. What does he think he's winking at anyway? Oh, oh, oh. are you just so sick when you see a beautiful woman enter the place that you are in a whip frenzy? Talking about oh, you haven't been able to keep your eyes off of me since we came in here. Shh. Lady, I would never do that while I was eating. Oh, George. <laughs> what do you expect me to do about that, Mom? Well, George, I expect you to do this. <laughs> you expect me to do that? No. Now, I think she expects you to do this. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Is that what you had in mind, lady? Not quite, mister! <laughs> hey! Hey, what's going on in here? Uh, I saved you, missy. He was gonna go after you when he got through with me. <laughs> Come on, George! Let's get out of here! Oh, yes, ball, Rock, rock, rock! rock. You okay, Rock? Hey, rock, I got your beer. <laughs> Oh, 
to live here. Like, yes, I would. I really need a home because every other place I've seen, Mr. White. <laughs> oh. It's been a long time since we've heard a child's laughter. Come in. Oh, well, where's in my room? Well, it's down the hall. It's the one with the teddy bear, the coloring book, and the toys. Hey, that's my room. <laughs> Lovable grandfather, whom I'm getting rid of today. Oh. Well, excuse me, why go chase? Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, no, no, no. No problem is easily solved. What this child needs is a bit of love. That is definitely not the problem. <laughs> I must be going. Uh, the Monsignor and I have a uh, business to take care of with a uh, higher power. The bishop? Oh, no, no, no. Andy Reid. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, Father. He is such a nice man. He certainly is. Is he single? <laughs> Cindy, go take a cold shower. <laughs> I am just so worried about Grants. Grandfather, how are you doing? Oh, I was afraid of that. Hello, Kenosha Falls General Hospital. Dr. Hopper, please. He's in emergency surgery. Awful. Oh. Hello, Dr. Hopper. <laughs> this is Miriam. And I'm afraid that Grants is really sick this time. Can you please come over? Thank you. Oh, oh, and just in case, can you stop by and pick up my black dress at the cleaners? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Dr. Hopper. Where's Grants? He's down there. Here I am. Grandma. Please have a seat for me so I can get you checked out, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, please. Life or death, Grandma. Oh, <laughs>
Doctor. Doctor. What's causing these pains? I can't say it. Just give me a minute to study this report. By the way, thank you for your check. Oh, 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 my stomach. I can't do this anymore. Exploratory surgery on my stomach? Do you think that's necessary? Well, I've tried Rolex. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, if we're going to operate, get it over with. Well, let's go do it. we're going to have your surgery for tomorrow afternoon. Oh. Our check will have cleared by then. <laughs> oh, get some rest and no visitors. Except your mom. George! My mom's here? Yeah. Just for beginners like this room, 50 bucks a day. And then you've got 
your, your, your doctor bill and your, your medication bill and then your x-rays and your lab charges and, and EKGs, whatever in the world that is. And, and so, George, I, I was thinking that maybe uh, tomorrow when they've got you cut open and the lady out there in the that maybe we could do it without anesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I knew you wouldn't like that. I knew you wouldn't have that. You're such a coward. And then when that cat accidentally ripped open your cheek, how you reacted to that it was shameful. Such a wimpy gift. Yeah. Oh, well, we need to get back and talk about your surgery. So, uh, now, no, it's just too depressing. I don't want to talk about your surgery anymore either. So, George, do you have a will? How about some good insurance, George? You know, I've run into a little debt with my Mahjong lady. I don't care that. You. And so, George, you haven't even finished your lunch here. George? Where, where are you, George? <laughs> oh, he, he doesn't ever consider me the window to draft.
nice out there, Molly. Nice gentle breeze blowing. Oh, I just love fall. Oh, watch it, Molly. Oh, oh that was close. What was it? No. A fall of leaf. <laughs> well, I'll get you a crash helmet for Christmas. Oh. Well, let's sit down.
Does that remind you of anything? It does. Mm -hmm. The Alamo. <laughs> the Alamo? Why? Because they didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> Thank you. 